What's up everybody, Steven Z Killer here. Today I'm bringing you a brand new reaction. I hope you guys enjoy, but before we get into that, 77% of you guys are not subscribed. Now there's two reasons for that. You're either new or you're returning. And hopefully today, you change that. With that in mind, you hit that subscribe button and join this community. Now, let's get into the video. Link down below for Rising Fist's video. Guys, don't forget to show your support to Rising Fist by liking and subscribing to the channel like I have. And we're checking out the day Beerus destroyed his entire race. Now, this is a remastered and uncut version. I actually never did watch the original one. So, I'm looking forward to checking out this one now that it's been... Uh, uh, touched up and everything just like he did with the uh, the Goku and Gohan story versus Cell where Goku lets Gohan basically Get killed and then things get uh, a much different story outcome for the Cell Saga If you guys haven't seen that video definitely go check it out It's super good and uh, I'm looking forward to more Rising Fist videos no matter what so you guys know what we're in here Let's get into it. Let's find out why and how Beerus destroyed his entire race. The origin of Beerus has long been shrouded in mystery. Very little is known of where he came from and his reason for becoming a destroyer god. This is the story I have for you today, the day Beerus performed his first true act of destruction. Interesting. That was the thumbnail. That is a very interesting thumbnail. Our story uh, thumbnail. takes place in an unknown galaxy in Universe 7, millions of years ago. Okay. I wonder if we're going to actually see a concept design for the Destroyer before Beerus, because uh, if he's becoming a God of Destruction and not the start of the universe, then there was a God of Destruction before Beerus, and I'm wondering how that's going to look. So, Akusa, have you had a change of heart? It really does pain me to see you this way. I... already told you. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Okay. Kind of a... Uh... Barely breathing, yet still spouting such lies. You know it brings me no pleasure seeing you this way. Tell me where Beerus and Champa are, and by my grace I will allow you to return to the life you had. A life under your rule is a fate worse than death. Stupid girl! Have I not treated you well? You are my most trusted acolyte, yet you continue to defy me! Why do you side with these lowborn sand slugs? What could they possibly have done to deserve such loyalty? Because they were born from the people you continue to oppress. And soon. They will come for you. They will be your retribution. If that is what you believe. Okay. I can show you a fate worse than death. You've wasted my mercy. And now you will suffer for your choice. Years later, Beerus would return only to find his planet enveloped in a dark haze. <laughs> okay. Are you hesitating, Beerus? It's you, Whis. You are a destroyer god now. Indecision can be costly, especially in this case. Okay. You need to act quickly. The longer you delay, the more dangerous the situation becomes. For the people of this planet, salvation is impossible. The spell that binds this planet cannot be broken. I shudder to think that there exists a mortal able to unlock dark magic as power. The souls of every living being on this planet are bound to this spell. Beerus, even if you send them to the afterlife, they will never find peace. For your people, it is a torturous existence. They are husks of their former selves, ever on the edge of life and death. So wait, that king motherfucker did something to this extent in only a few years? What the fuck? If left unchecked, the spell that torments them will spread and it will surely mean the end of the universe. Oh. For the safety of all life, they must be expunged from existence entirely. I understand that this is your home, but you must know that there is only one thing you can do for them. A 
dark wizard enslaved the people of Beerus's home world, and they were desperate to find a way to free themselves. A small group of its people summoned my sister and I with a relic we left here on a previous quest for rare delicacies a few short centuries ago. Huh. They offered up two of their young ones, begging us to train them in the ways of the gods. These two brothers, twins in fact, and they were unlike any mortals I've ever seen. The depth of their potential surpasses even the strongest destroyer gods. I would become Beerus's teacher, and my sister, Champa's. Interesting. Beerus the training more quickly than his brother so, Champa. So we really didn't get to... Are we not going to see a prior destroyer now? That's interesting. And it wasn't long before he mastered his destroyer powers. He was focused on the single objective of saving his people. However, he would soon learn that becoming a destroyer god requires a different kind of conviction. Yeah. Far away on Beerus' homeworld, the Dark Wizard sensed Beerus' strength growing to unfathomable heights. He knew that if Beerus were to return, he would surely be overthrown. Fear struck the wizard's heart, oh, so because and it drove him that. to do the unthinkable. That day, dark magic never seen in the mortal realm was unlocked. The wizard's soul, blackened by evil, was imbued into dark flames that erupted from his body. The inhabitants of the planet watched in horror as the spell descended upon them. The spell spread across the entire planet like a plague, and not a single soul could escape the wizard's evil influence. The wizard had accomplished his goal. He held an entire planet hostage and would never die, unless one with the power of a destroyer god would be willing to erase millions of innocent lives. You are a destroyer god now, Beerus. You must perform your- I know that! I'll do it. From the ground. I wish to see them one last time. I want them to know that I came back for them. Very well. I will be watching closely. Should you fail here, there will be dire consequences. It... it can't be. Beerus, it's really you. I'm actually kind of shocked she's alive. Yes. It's me, Akusa. Part of me hoped that you'd return. But, Beerus, you must leave here. Xerxes' dark essence has infected all of us now. We can't escape. But you and Champa still can. Please. Things cannot be as we planned. You can't save us anymore. Go. No. I... I won't run. Not again. The time is now, Beerus. You're such a meathead. You know, if you ever get tired of fighting, I could teach you a little magic. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I have nothing to fear. Even with the power of a god. You are still weak! You could oh, never wow. take the lives of these people you so love. Their souls belong only to me, boy! As we're yours! Beerus! <laughs> Forgive me! Hakai. Every single Hakai! one of them. Even if she was under some kind of control, uh, at least he got to talk to her in some way before erasing her. You must clear your mind, Champa. Your thoughts of home betray you. You must focus only on destruction. Ooh, is this gonna be why Champa has a grudge on Beerus in some way? Champa. Brother, is that you? It is done, Champa. I'm sorry. You're sorry? What did you do? You did it! Tell me you did it! <laughs> you liar! 
You said if we became destroyers, we could save everyone. Why? Tell me why! I wish there was another way, but there wasn't. I'm sorry. I will never forgive you for this, Beerus. Never! You did well, my lord. You will make a fine destroyer god. My lord? What happened to Beerus? Lord Beerus, if you prefer. Fine, whatever. It's all the same to you. I'd like to get some sleep now. As you wish, my lord. At least this way. I can remember you. The way you were. Hey, you guys. Damn, that was a very short, but... Very sad story. Uh, I wonder if, if there's a lot of differences. I doubt there would be uh, of the original. Uh, let me know down below, and I may check it out on my own time. Just, just, just to compare. But damn. And thank you for watching the brand new remaster of one of Rising Fist's most well-known What If stories. Don't forget to leave us a like if you did enjoy. Special thanks to the amazing voice cast, the dubber, Seriously, Dragon good job, Ball everybody. University, Adrian Santa and Fluffbat. Overall fantastic what if story with Beerus. I hope in the future when it comes to Dragon Ball we do get a little bit more backstory on on Beerus how he became God of Destruction but this is probably the closest we're ever going to get because I don't know if Dragon Ball will ever actually dive into that concept but we have Rising Fist and a bunch of other creative and brilliant writers out there that make these fan animations, fan stories all that good stuff so if you guys have more suggestions like this please comment down below and or grab the link to the video you're talking about and or wanting me to see and post in the reaction idea section on my discord i'll see you guys in the next video until then later this is the prince of the motherfucking saiyans and i am ordering you to subscribe to steven z killer